to be incredible. Like, you know, you kind of talked about these sort of mainframes before and punch cards, and now we're at these, like, you know, really tiny incredible. silicon chips with, like, state-of-the-art technology to make them small. Yeah. But still, there are some problems that they just, they can't solve. Yeah. And so that's the overhead that we need to get over. But, like, there's a lot of evidence that shows that these things are going to be super useful. And timeline, like uh, five years is thrown around? Yeah. So, I mean, we expect and we're optimistic that in the next five years or so, we're going to have uh, an application that can only be solved on a quantum computer. That being said, there's going to be kind of like a spectrum of like, you'll get to these first um you know, interesting, useful cases. And then over time, there'll be more. The capabilities of a quantum computer will expand until they become, you know, hopefully just like a, a fairly normal technology that you can kind of access, solve, solve these problems that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And so when that happens, do you expect sort of, does quantum feed quantum? 